Hey, hi you guys, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, March 24th to the 30th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, you guys, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Taurus. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. Earth Energy, which that's your element. This card indicates a solid and secure life. It's about your home and your family. It has to do with legacy and your ancestors. This is a monetary gain and increased stability. This can represent a house or a dwelling. It's security and material comfort has to do with wealth and social standing and permanence and wisdom and physical security. Could be a successful financial venture, an inheritance or a settlement that will provide for those concerned, or it could be a special partnership. This is a card of traditions. There could be a celebration with your family. If you have a question as to how things should be done, Think about back to the way your elders would have solved a problem. This is long-term stability. It's a firm foundation for your home and family life. This can also indicate a property acquired. Your second card, and this is the energy crossing over your path. The Four of Wands, Taurus. This is fire energy. This is a celebration and results. It's the completion of a stage. It's good times. Could be a party. Could be celebrating a, a coming marriage or a romance or a harvest. Maybe a birthday party. Or maybe you're putting down roots and moving in with someone else. But it is a time to pause and relax. This is an extremely positive card. You'll get to enjoy life. It's something new that's soon coming. A happy time and reaping rewards. You'll be happy and productive. It's celebration and reward after labor. And now there's a pause in activities and a tranquil time of rest. It could be a holiday. It could be a time of relaxation, a vacation be purchasing a new home. But this is a foundation for creativity and it heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. You're going to be happy and you're going to feel sociable. This is reaching a milestone and celebrating. Could be graduating, enjoying festivities. It's celebrating your accomplishments. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Page of Swords, Taurus. This is air energy. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This could be a message. It's news. This could be something that alerts you to the truth. There's vigilance and some anxiety, maybe some nervousness. Could be spying. This could even be news of difficulties. Someone needs to use strategy and analyze to use communication to confront someone. This could be someone behaving in a risky manner. It can be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth which can cause strife. This is not a malicious person, not on purpose, but if anyone gets in his way, he'll simply trample them underfoot. They're extremely strong-willed, 
This can be a spy or a deceitful person. Could be someone spreading gossip and rumors. It's new ways of communication, sharing ideas. Could be someone is manipulating communication. This person, they would be thoughtful and curious and intellectual. They could be a student. They're youthful, cautious, and they seek the truth and justice above all else, and he may take risks in order to get closer to the truth. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Two of Cups, Taurus. This is water energy. This has to do with emotions and feelings that bring joy. This is a love match or a partnership, but it is an attraction. It's a union, a strong relationship, especially the beginning of one. This is making plans with a kindred soul, taking vows. It's emotional. There's equality, respect, and sharing here, as well as harmony and balance and emotional support and understanding. This is dealing successfully with strong emotions. They're basic energies, important feelings, and at times they can be in conflict with each other or complementary. This is taking note of your feelings and needs to make a decision. So feel the joy in your soul for doing something for yourself or for others. This is talking things over, letting go. It can be a reconciliation. Remember that shared joy is as twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. This is a shared bond and your wishes and fears are intertwined. So take note of feelings to make a decision. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. This could be you or someone around you. This is Earth energy, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This rep represents domestic life. This is a generous and benevolent regal woman. She respects money as a tool, but she does not worship it. She wants tangible results from the money she distributes. This is security. This can be a mother. This could be you or your mother. This is a harvest after much labor. There's prudent use of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing. They're resourceful and bountiful. They're down to earth. They're fertile and healthy and a homemaker. This is a person that loves gardens and growing things. There's fertility here. This is someone that loves nature. They're affectionate and caring, and they know how to manage money. They love the good things in life, and having acquired them, they are content to spend their life enjoying them, and they're satisfied when they get what they want. This could also indicate that help is coming of a practical nature. This card tells us that what is cherished must be cared for. And now, your oracle card advice from the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. This is Wandering Path. Enjoy the journey. You don't always need to know where you're going, except the fact that sometimes the path in life is meandering. Yet know that you're always exactly where you need to be, even if it doesn't seem like it. Be present with your journey. Embrace everything that you encounter on the path. It's all for your highest good. Accept what is. This is the key to inner power. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that when you're traveling, you are in the present moment. A mystic traveler has no specific goals for the future and is not focused upon the destination. Everything is fresh and new. At times it's difficult to accept everything that occurs on the road of life, especially if the road seems to twist and turn in unexpected ways. It's an act of courage and faith to accept what is, without judgment or dismay, and to keep going. Trust that there's a plan for your life, and it's unfolding perfectly. 
have faith that you're on the road that you're meant to travel on. Accepting what is doesn't mean you can't work to change it, because you can. However, this card does suggest that every experience is supporting you for your highest good and your spiritual evolution. If there's something you can't accept, start by gently accepting the fact that you can't accept it. Allowing for your own wandering path is the key to grace and peace in your life. Here's your take note moment. There is always a solution. When we find ourselves thinking negative thoughts, just say to yourself, I do not claim these thoughts. They are not mine. They do not belong in my vibration. Encourage yourself by claiming only good thoughts for ourselves and others. We are able to cancel out negative thoughts and words. When you catch yourself, just say no. I cancel that, whatever the negative thought or words are. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So here I go, I'm sending you out love and light and blessings and gratitude for watching my channel. Thank you.